Today we got a new snapshot for Minecraft 1.20. Let's take a look at what they added. So starting off, we have a new type of wood. It's cherry wood, and it also comes with cherry leaves as well, along with all the other wood variants like all the other trees. But they're really pretty because they also drop these petals from them, which you can find accumulated on the ground in the cherry biomes. And of course, here's the sapling. We also have the sniffer. So with this, it's very loud. Okay, so yeah, you can put it on fence posts, but anyways, you can see it'll just start digging around in the ground to find ancient seeds. So here we have a torch flower seed, or torch flower seeds. So you can grow torch flowers with these. I'm not sure if there's a way to actually plant them yet, but yeah, it's a pretty cool plant. And it's also cool that they're adding plants after a long time. So here's one in a pot. Very nice. Okay then. All right, moving back onto the cherries. Here's a little cherry pathway built up to the cherry biome. And you can see they're actually pretty small and they are pretty rare. So it does make them more valuable when you do find one. But yeah, here you can see they, the petals are just all over the ground and you can collect these with your hand in survival. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this biome. So let's move on to the next topic. Oh, one more thing before we move on. So apparently the cherry petals, they don't accumulate over time on the ground. So you're gonna have to use bone meal if you wanna get more of them. All right, now that we're in the desert, I can show you all the new features here. So first off, you're going to want to craft a brush, which you can do with two sticks and three string. And then once you have that, you're going to want to find these suspicious sand blocks. These can be found around desert wells or inside of them. Or same thing going with desert pyramids as well around them or inside. So yeah, basically, you're just going to want to start brushing it. And you'll see it'll start getting like cracks and like worn down and stuff, but it goes back if you stop. So you just brush it. And then supposedly it's supposed to give you a shard, although I think it might be a bit bugged right now. Unless we try this one. Okay, there we go. Or that one gave us suspicious stew, surprisingly. I did not know that I could drop that. So yeah, anyways, here are what you can craft with the shards. There's all these different designs. Or if you want to do this, you can get bricks. Just craft a regular one. And they also have this really nice sound. So yeah, that's about it for brushing. Although maybe it's just because here, because these are these ones I did place. Let's see. Okay, I guess if you place it yourself, then they won't give you anything, but the naturally generated ones should give you something. So yeah, moving on to the next feature, desert pyramid. So yeah, right here you can see there's sand and right here as well. So if we dig down, you can see there's a staircase here actually, which is new. And it appears to be leading to this room. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, so you're gonna wanna watch out because there is suspicious sand in here, which is super fragile. See, I just accidentally broke some. All right, suspicious sand is like super fragile. If you, if it drops, it'll break. If you're not careful with it, it'll just break. You can see you get lots of random items. Okay, so here we actually got a shard. One of these ones, a uh, prize pottery shard. Anyways, I have enough of those, so I'm not gonna worry about that anymore. So now we'll resume digging. All right, with it all cleared out, it appears to be just a little room, and I'm pretty sure its main purpose is just for you to collect the treasures from the suspicious sand, but it is pretty cool to have a new addition to this structure, since they haven't done that with any of the other ones for a really long time. Alright, that's about it, but before the video ends, I will give you a cool tip. So, you can't actually place flowers in the pot, as you can see, but these little things, the lids, don't count as the pot. As you can see, you can stack them. So, if you actually want to put something in them, you can put flower pots on them, which blend in really well. And then you can actually put plants in them, which is pretty cool. And with that, I'll end the video by saying I'm on team Arms Up Pottery Shard. Let me know what team you're on down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.